Hello, hello, Marnie here, and welcome to the demo for Elation for the Wonderbox 6000. A first person claymation adventure about going into the city to try and find a game from your youth that no one else remembers. And, I mean, it just looks really cool. I don't know too much about it. Um, render it just kind of randomly. There's now a demo on Steam coming out Q4. And I don't know, it's just cool seeing a claymation project. It's, um, I don't think it's necessarily horror. It's more like, yeah, I guess creepy and surreal. And yeah, I think we're just going to jump in. So I hope you're doing well and thank you for watching. Okay, play the demo. Let's go. Literature, painting, sculpture, music, architecture, performance, cinema, comics. In a certain pervert countries. Oh, wait, comics in certain pervert countries. <laughs> These mediums, oh, is that all? Is that, is that referring to what I think it's referring to? Hmm. These mediums compose what we generally understand as the arts. That which expresses the inexpressible communicates the uncommunic uncommunicable. Readers that which evade our capture. Renders that which evade our capture. Always incomplete in its completeness. For years the public has begged, pleaded, demanded that the Hort Mont Grant uh, grant our beloved video games the title of Ninth Art depending on the count. Their pleas are ignored. It is all too ironic then that the same public has allowed the crowning achievement of their beloved medium to drift into obscurity. For there is already a work which dispels any doubt that video games are worthy to be seated at the table of the arts. Indeed this work, if properly understood, may even upend that venerated table, rendering its predecessors obsolete. It is a work so monumental is that going to go away? Achievements that it not only outshines all prior attempts at representing the sublime, but completely redefines the nature of the sublime itself. With the sublimity sought... Uh, I'm going to kill you. Actually, all of you have had... Okay, let, let's go back and finish reading. <laughs> Oops. Okay, not fast enough. If properly understood, may even upend that venerated table, rendering its predecessors obsolete. It is a work so monumental in achievement that it not only outshines all prior attempts at representing the sublime, but completely redefines the nature of the sublime itself. With the sublimity sought by all prior arts now gone, all that remains is this video game. It's the disregard for this masterpiece has led its obtainment to exist ever outside my grasp, let alone the world's. Which is why I come to this forum with a simple question I bring in day in day out. Do you know where I can find a copy of Elation for the Wonderbox 6000? I'm going to kill you. Actually, all video games are bad. This one especially. I'm sorry, but we're really supposed to believe that the Wonderbox 6000 holds some long forgotten gem. I laugh at thee. It was a closed source piece of junk with games hard welded to the chassis so you buy a whole new console each time. Consumerism at its worst, I say. That guy should kill you. You've already been warned many times. Oh, is this game been killed yet? I'm closing the position now. They should make a video game where we get to kill you. That would be good for... Oh. Does it highly customize interactive self scene? No, it's trash. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I've had enough of your posts. Okay, well, we got through most of them. You have been warned many times about spamming this forum with your stupid question. You have multiple threads on this topic and have been asked repeatedly to keep discussion of those threads. This is your final warning. The sweetest game is that which is that which is savored most properly. Midnight's End. I'm, uh, I think we got that one. I'm closing it on his position now. That one's a little concerning. Has this guy been killed yet? Feels a little extreme, but you know, internet. Uh, they should make a video game where they get to kill you. That would be the first good one. Does it have highly customizable interactive sex scenes? No, it's trash. Oh, Master Gamer. Very nice. Very nice. Your next has got been killed yet. Closing on his position. Okay. That's probably not good. Okay, well, I'm hoping that was just a, you know, internet thing, otherwise... Okay, that's a... Oh, hello. Hey champ, how you doing? You seem pretty down. You know, more so than usual. Were the people on your video game forums being mean to you? You know, more so than usual? Yeah... Yes, it has been revealed the true state of cultural literacy in our society. I'm sure it's not that bad. Perhaps you're just in one of your moods? They're gonna kill me. Oh geez, that bad, huh? Maybe you should go out and get some fresh air. 
Maybe we should take a trip to the city. See if you can find a copy of that game you're always talking about. Yeah, okay, apparently this is a friend. Elation for the Wonderbox 6000. Yeah, sure, whatever. A game unmatched. Its action was impeccable. Perhaps a game kind's greatest achievement in the field of water graphics. A game brimming with spectacular, life-affirming violence. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay. Alrighty. This is, uh, interesting. So it's kind of like a mix of, like, claymation and not. Because this feels like a, you know, kind of... I don't know what you call it. Like... Close to what some people refer to as like a PS1 style game or like something like that you find on itch. This feels kind of normal. But then other parts of it are like really unique. Either way it looks good. I'm just, yeah, just thinking aloud here. We should uh, look around, I guess. Okay. We ain't doing so well in the fridge department. Can we go back on the computer? My portal to Philistines. Okay. Oh, can we? Oh, uh, that's not where you keep cans. Generally. Wait, what is that? My collection of t-shirts, both graphic and violent. Truly the pinnacle of fashion in terms of both comfort and function. Alrighty. That. Ah, my personal entertainment two machine. Able to isolate the neuroceptors responsible for feelings of love, lust, beauty, a cool twist that you didn't see coming. Everything, anything, and directly simulate them all at once. It's heaven, and yet it still pales in comparison to elation. What originally started out as the sequel to pornography has replaced all entertainment. Predictably, you put slop in front of a pig and he'll eat it up. Luckily for the productivity of society as a whole, most are unable to afford their own machine. However, my inheritance has afforded my certain pleasures. Me certain pleasures. Regardless, it's busted, which is probably all for the best anyways. I do have trouble resisting its temptations, and the free time has allowed me to spend more time on the forums, spreading the good word of elation. Okay. That's, um... Did you spend all your inheritance on that? I mean, this isn't the biggest place. I mean, I guess it's fine. Is this, uh... Wait. I'm sorry, how does this work? This freeloader wants nothing more than to swipe my most valuable possession, but I can't help but think he might be onto something with regards to this going into town idea. So, free is he living in his wall? Like... What? What is happening? I've grown fond of this mold as it grows. At one point I had dreamed of the day raising a child on my own. Someone to show elation to. I have settled for this which brings its own rewards. Okay. At one point I had installed a cushioned toilet like you see in the homes of the elderly. This led me to sitting quite comfortably for too long and developing hemorrhoids. So it had to be removed. Pleasure is always outside my grasp. Sure. Alright. Just gonna... Okay. Now what happens if I do this? And jump on this? It seemed like I could almost do it before. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I might be breaking things, but that's totally fine. Oh, can we not? Hmm. I don't seem to get up quite as high now. Yup. Escape. Okay, now we just need to get that drawer open. Ah, uh, we fall if we don't hold forward. But there is a sweet spot. Okay. Can't seem to get another jump, though. Hmm. Fair enough. Oop. Oh. Okay, let me, let me not break things. Fine. Wait, is that a separate thing we can look at? Ah, here it is. My most prized possession. My humble figurine. The crown jewel of my inheritance, a real collector's collectible. I haven't checked it in a minute, but my estimation is that it's worth millions and I cannot let anyone have it. Oh my, okay. That's a lot. Oh, well, I think we've explored. Empty beverage cans also conveniently serve as many tiny trash cans. 
Well, that's that's one way to put it. My exhaustive collection of limited edition steelbook game cases. People have referred to them as ridiculous, but when the apocalypse, com apocalypse comes, I will be able to melt them down and forge them into weapons and armor. Okay. I don't really know how to even respond to what this person... Question mark. Uh, says. It's like... It's like, okay. It will be ch oh, hello. Jump. Prize. Oh. More empty cans. Okay. It's a little strange. What else we got around here? Crash. Okay. So the only thing is noodles and we can't even take them. Not cool, man. Not cool. Well, I guess we better head out. I'll talk to you later. Hmm, okay. Okay, we can sprint. Pretty fast, actually. Oh, alright. We got movement, yeah. Cool. Can we crouch? No. Also, it does seem like you can save anywhere, so that's nice. That's always good. So if I break anything, no worries. Okay, this fence is apparently a no-no zone. What does that say? Okay, maybe I go over here. Check the mail. Hello, mailbox. No mail. Not even any death threats. If you can't commit to postal, no one should take you seriously. <laughs> All oh, right, there was that closing in on our position thing, huh? Well, it's probably fine. Starring. WASD. Oh, okay. It's like a little intro thing. Some nice tunes. Okay, it says tabbed over in inventory, but I just get a... F oh, I see. Also, can we just like run over here or do we have to take the bus? Definitely feel the need to check. Alright, I haven't hit a wall yet. Ah, hello wall. How are you? Oh. Okay. Guess we're on the bus. Well, all right. Guess we're heading to the city. Okay, well that seemed a little much. Wait, what? Oh. Thank you for playing. Elation to the Wonderbox 6000 is coming soon. Oh. Okay, that was a very short demo. This looks interesting though. Like seeing this, I mean... So we've got a bit of a sea to explore. Is that us? All right, um, I guess that was the demo for Relation for the Wonderbox 6000. Um, I mean, I guess it was definitely like enough to give me a taste and feel, so it kind of served its purpose in that way. But it, it was a little short for a demo. Um, this part here honestly probably helps a lot. It's probably like, even though we can't play this part ourselves like what we got plus kind of seeing this it does add to like you know understanding what we're in for type of thing um but as far as the actual demo part it was very short um yeah i, I guess it was enough to intrigue me though
The claymation's cool, though we didn't really get to see that much of it. Setup's interesting. Looks good. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be up for playing the full game, yeah. I don't know. I, I thought we'd get, like, a little more into the city or something, so... It does kind of feel kind of short or something. But still very cool. I'm glad I checked it out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like Maybe they'll release like a bit of a longer demo down the line. Hmm. Because I feel like... Because some people... Um, like, not everyone tries to click on every little thing and check all the cupboards and stuff like I do, for example. So, if you played it like what I think a lot of people would do, which would be they would go through the dialogue, they'd talk to that wall person, they would have a bit of a look around, you know, maybe open just the drawers, because they stand out a bit more, and then they'd head straight out. And they'd probably just follow the path to see, you know, what's next. And in that way, I feel like the demo would be like three minutes or something. Like, it kind of extended a little bit for me, because I was playing around trying to find everything, but... Yeah, a lot of people do play more straightforward, and that way I feel like the demo would feel... Yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm rambling. Either way, I guess it serves purpose for me, because I am intrigued and it looks good and it's interesting and weird and... Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts. Um, be well. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in something else soon. Bye-bye.